lovely day, lovely day to sit out in the garden. <sighs> now, I wonder why Toby's left all his toys out. I told him not to leave them lying around in the garden. If it rains, they'll all be ruined. Toby! Toby! Oh, I suppose I'd better tidy them up. Unless, of course, I use a tidying up spell. <laughs> of course, good idea. Good morning, Barrel. <laughs> Hello, magician. Are you going to cast a spell? <laughs> yes, a tidying up spell. Toby's left all his books and toys out in the garden, and it's rather a muddle. <laughs> well, if it's a muddle, you'll be wanting a colour beginning with the same sound as muddle, won't you? Hmm. Hmm. Um, maroon. Oh, look, a maroon mudguard. Ha! This has come off my old bicycle, you know. Hmm. Well, you shouldn't have left it lying around in the garden, should you? It should have been tidied up a long time ago. Yes, yes, yes. Well, perhaps you're right. Anyway, here you are. Now, since this is a tidying up spell, we need something beginning with T for tidy. Mm, tea. I'd love a cup of tea. Thirsty again, are you? Very well. Here you are, Beryl. Mmm, thank you. Oh, there's no milk in it. Well, I prefer it without milk. Now, can you remember how the magic tune goes? Of course. Blum, 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 blum. Oh, yes, that's it. Right, all together then. Blum, 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 blum. And now, the magic clap. I'd better do this myself, as you haven't got any hands. And now, the magic rhyme. Puddle muddle, muddle puddle, Toby's toys left out all day. Muddle puddle, puddle muddle, tidy everything. Away! Magician! Magician! Mm. Magician! Have you seen our things? Uh, what things? All our books and toys! They were on the grass, and now they've gone! Oh dear, oh dear, and um, what were they doing on the grass? We left them there. We, we were going to tidy them away after we'd played a game, but they've all vanished! I think I know what's happened to them. Oh? What? I expect the tidy bird's taken them. The tidy bird? The tidy bird? Who's the tidy bird? Well, I've never seen him because he's invisible. But he has got a red light on his head. And I've seen that once or twice. Hmm? He whistles as well, you know. And what makes you think he's taken our things? The tidy bird's always taking things. Oh, that's right, you know. And there's a song about him. Gramophone! Music! The tidy bird takes what the tidy bird sees. He takes it to his tidy bird nest. Then the tidy bird sits in the tidy bird trees and has a little tidy bird rest. With the tidy bird light on his tidy bird head and the tidy bird whistling sound, the tidy bird flies from his tidy bird bed, looking down upon the tidy bird ground. All together now, one, two, three. The tidy bird takes what the tidy bird sees and takes it to his tidy bird nest. Then the tidy bird sits in the tidy bird trees and has a little tidy bird rest. Oh, hum, he has a little tidy bird rest. If the tidy bird's taken all our things, we'll just have to go and get them back. Where is his nest? I don't know. I've never been able to find it. <laughs> hmm. Sarah, Gita and Davy found it once. Would you like to hear how they did it? Oh, yes, I would. 
very well. Sarah and Peter were playing in Puddle Lane when Mr. Gotobed looked out of his front door. Have you seen my spectacles anywhere? he asked. I was in the magician's garden yesterday, and I must have left them there. Before they could answer, Mrs. Pitterpatter came up the lane. Good morning, Mr. Gotobed, said Mrs. Pitterpatter. Have you seen my red feather anywhere? The one I wear in my hat? She looked at Sarah and Gita. You haven't taken my red feather to play with, have you? She asked. Sarah shook her head. Mr. Puffle and Davy came up the lane. Morning, said Mr. Puffle. You haven't seen my paintbrush, have you? I've lost it somewhere in the lane. I've lost my red feather, said Mrs. Pitter-Patter, and I think the children have taken it. She looked hard at Sarah and Gita. We haven't touched anything, said Sarah. We were just going into the garden to look for Mr. Gotobed's spectacles. We'll look for your red feather, too. You'll go with them, Davy, and keep an eye out for my paintbrush, said Mr. Puffle. The children went into the magician's garden. They hadn't gone far when the griffle looked round a bush. Um, uh, are you looking for something? he asked. Gita told him what had happened. Oh, the tidy bird must have been in the garden, said the griffle. He tidies everything away so that you can't find it. Let's look for him, said Davy. <laughs> <laughs>